Hi. Modern day men are under attack. Wokeness, pronouns, child custody, baldness. Men are becoming endangered and all that's left are little soy boys. Because I've been speaking to disaffected young men. You know, what a terrible thing to do that is. I thought the marginalized were supposed to have a voice. Thankfully though, Jordan Peterson is not the only person who's recognized this problem, as capable as he is. <laughs> the Modern Day Night Project is a boot camp that's supposed to solve all of men's problems. Gentlemen, welcome to the project. The project is a 75-hour experience. It's for men just like you, who know that you're meant for more, who know that you might have areas in your life that you're not performing at your highest level. By spraying them with a hose and yelling at them, or making them crawl through mud with a hammer. What happens when we have to go fight another war? What happens when your wife or your kid needs you? See, in case you ever have to fight your way through a bog, maybe, to save your family, you'll be able to crawl through the bog with a hammer, and you'll be prepared to save your family. This video is sponsored by Semper. We need to talk. The woke left doesn't want you smelling nice. If you've ever been stinky before, that's exactly what they want. Thankfully, you have Scentbird. And for just $17 a month, you can try both designer and indie fragrances sent straight to your door every month. Scentbird offers affordable and flexible subscription plans so there's no pressure. You can skip or cancel your subscription anytime. I like a good smell, and Scentbird sent me three of them this month. Dirty Peach, Juliet Has a Gun, and Grooming Lounge. Every month, you can pick what fragrances you want, and there's no surprises. There's over 600 perfumes and colognes with tons of unisex options. They have brands from Gucci, Prada, and Versace, all the way to Skylar, Heretic, and Confessions of a Rebel. Either way, you can be sure you're getting a premium scent every month. Each fragrance comes with a 30-day supply, so you don't even have to worry about running out. Yep, I'm not even worried because I have plenty more in here. And it smells good. That's actually really good. Yeah, the Dirty Peach has got to be my favorite one this month. Come on. We all want a nice giant bottle of fragrance, but those are expensive. And Scentbird is a great way to try out different fragrances until you find the one that you like and will smell forever. For USA and Canadian customers, if you use my coupon code EthanIsOnline at checkout, you can get your first month of Scentbird for just over $7 a month. That's a 55% discount. Again, that's coupon code Ethan is online for a 55% discount on your first order. Scentbird is the way to go if you're trying to smell fresh and you just are kind of the kind of guy who loves convenience. Thanks again to Scentbird for sponsoring this video. And again, make sure to use my coupon code Ethan is online for 55% off your first Scentbird order. Now let's get back to the boot camp. For men who want to get unstuck, create financial freedom, fix your relationship, and ignite your purpose. I don't know about you guys, but that is too many things. How does this create financial freedom? Well, why don't you have them dig their own grave and put a body bag in it and zip them up in a body bag and just have them lay there in silence. Not to mention it costs $18,000. <laughs> yeah, maybe the freedom to give money to weird guys, maybe. Leave it to a bunch of former military guys to not know what the word freedom means. Of course, the $18,000 doesn't just cover the camp itself. It also covers the 12-month mastermind program, which is just a Zoom call with these guys. Only once a month, too. It's, it's 12 Zoom calls for $18,000. Listen, I'm no alpha financial mastermind, but that seems like a bad investment. There literally has to be a better way to spend that amount of money. It's too much. There's literally a section on their website dedicated to convincing your wife to let you spend this amount of money. Here's how you can get your wife on board. If you don't know about the project, it's a 75 hour personal development program for men looking to level up in business and life. They keep saying stuff like level up, become like a better man, improve yourself. How does this do any of that? I don't believe you. He had been talking about it for so long and I knew if he didn't do it, it's be postponed it might not happen because he or I would come up with an excuse. Since it was only three weeks, neither of us had a lot of time to process that. It was just get him on the plane and see you later and I'm so glad he did it. Okay, that doesn't really say anything about the project though. These guys are leveling up. And in the FAQ where they tell you how expensive the program is, they feel the need to immediately justify it. The cost of not experiencing the project and mastermind and not becoming the leader, husband, and father you're meant to be is much more expensive in the long run. The cost of not giving me $18,000 could weigh on you forever. It's more expensive to not give me money, if you think about it. The cost of not doing the modern day night program, I think, is zero dollars. 
But it is really funny to pay these guys $18,000 to do this to you. Where's the rest of your team? Uh, we just fucking bailed on them. No fucking plan. No fucking orders. No fucking communication. You have no fucking clue what's going on. This is what we call being forged in the fire. The modern day night Instagram page is really funny because there's a lot of clips just fully out of context of them trying to like teach some lesson to a group of guys that are crawling on the ground. None of it makes any sense. Everybody wants to do the minimum. People, you know why people don't want to do this? Because it's hard. I guarantee you, you had friends that go, why the fuck are you doing this? Your response should be, why the fuck aren't you? Who are you? What the fuck are you doing here? What are you doing here? Why are you a disappointment? I want to know. Put your head down on quick. Stand up. Stand the fuck up. Stand hey, up don't break right your chain! Hey! Up. That's just the end of that clip. The average person will watch this video and think, why are they doing this? You told your family I'm going to sunny Southern California and look what happened. The gods have blessed us. They are cleansing your fucking souls. That's what's going on. This is perfect. This is what you need. This is the adversity you need, because shit's been too easy asking these stupid fucking questions. This guy's got two different shoes on. So much of this program feels like it comes from this attitude of needing adversity and needing to overcome adversity in order to prove that you're a man. And I agree, if you need to pay $18,000 for someone to create adversity in your life, then yeah, maybe you do have not a lot going on. Also, these guys are standing in the Southern California rain from like March, it wasn't that cold. It was annoying, but it's not like it was like freezing rain. You're still in California. And why do some of these guys have socks on outside in the rain? They're gonna get like fungus. Is no one saying anything? You're gonna yell at these guys for doing push-ups wrong. You're not yelling at them for wearing socks outside in the rain. That's what I would yell at them for. Challenges like this are stupid. This is pointless. Just join the military. All excuses to make yourself feel better about where you're at in life. Just join the military? That's not really, that's not an excuse. That's just telling these guys what to do with their time. Then again, the army doesn't teach you how to be a financial mastermind, okay? <laughs> Oh, they even let them train with toy guns. That's nice. <laughs> but 15K is too much money. I can't afford that. It's not even 15K anymore. This is from a year ago and it's already more expensive. Inflation is a bitch. You're right that you can't afford it. It's because you're thinking way too small. One of the last things they do on the Modern Night Project is dig their own grave and lay down in a body bag in the grave. To learn how to be a financial mastermind, of course. They're laying down their body bag that we supply them Going in it, we zip them up and we throw a few shovelfuls of dirt on top of them so they feel the weight of the earth. You start kind of going through a checklist. So they bury these guys in their little body bags. And this is a great example of my general problem with the Modern Day Nights Project, apart from it just being silly and over the top. They don't really set up that elaborate of things for you to do. I don't give a fuck what you drive. I don't give a fuck how big your house is. What I give a fuck is what you're doing right now and you're not doing what's expected. So put out fucking harder, flip this fucking switch, or get the fuck out of here. That's your options. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? Tell me. I'm gonna do it. Like he is just crawling on the ground. Maybe he's been crawling for a while. Maybe he's tired and hungry, but he is just crawling on the ground. It's $18,000, and yet what are you paying for? The body bag? And if they're not outside, they're in the gym that's like not crazy. It's not, I would not pay $18,000 to go here. I'm just saying. Oh, get in the fucking tub. Get in the tubs, every one of you. So, hey, what are you gonna do now? What are you gonna do now? Sir, oh, every sir. one of you get in the tubs. Get in the tubs. Get in the tubs. Shut up, with all. there is no respect. Get in the tub. You are going home. Oh, no, you're not going to sit down. You're not going to the fucking water. So the modern day night program is unfortunately only for entrepreneurs, executives, and leaders. I don't know how you would verify if someone was a leader. Do you think they would let like a shift lead from GameStop? do the Modern Day Night Project. The Modern Day Night's website is really funny and really long. Featured on the New York Times, Entrepreneur Magazine, The Wall Street Journal, Fox, Spike TV, 
which hasn't existed since 2018. Yeah, classic Spike TV, guys. It's on Spike TV. That's how you know it's real. For something that comes across as really exclusive and clearly has a high barrier to entry, they advertise it like they want people to join so they can have more people to throw into ice water. Ah, it's so cold. Yeah, who cares, okay? Do you think Bill Gates gets cold? Does Elon Musk get cold? No, they do this all the time and that's how they love it and that's how they became rich and billionaires. I'd be good at being one of these instructors, I think. <laughs> Which, by the way, the instructors behind the Modern Day Night Project are some of the most, like, corny, phony weirdos. Do not be docile, do not be tame, you must be the monster. And then put that monster under control and deploy it only when you need to. I love guys like this. Their one and only goal is to sell you the answer to problems they're telling you you have. The founder of the project, Bedros Kulian, wrote a self-help book called Man Up, How to Cut the Bullshit and Kick Ass in Business and in Life. His whole shtick is him not being like other self-help guys. He wants you to man up and stop the BS and to just do it. No more messing around. All of the instructors of the Modern Day Night Project are extremely qualified. We already know Bedros, the self-help guy, and also founder of CrossFit Chain Fit Body Boot Camp. All types of physical, I guess what some would consider torture, but I would look at as opportunities. There's also Steve Eckert, co-owner of something called Leadership and Team Development, which a lot of people seem to think is a multi-level marketing scheme. There are two other guys involved, William Branham, who's just another boring Navy SEAL guy, and Chris Weichman, the CEO of Bull Solutions Mountaineering and Survival School. Hey, I thought we were supposed to be cutting the bull. Bull Solutions? No thanks. Chris. Bull Solutions Survival School is the only relevant result that shows up when you Google Bull Solutions. It is a Facebook page with 18 followers. So he's the CEO of that. Yeah, these guys know what they're doing for sure. Let me give them $18,000 to tell me to sit in the ocean. So many of these challenges are just getting these guys wet and dirty. They're trying to make it seem like intense Navy SEAL training. A lot of the time they're just doing push-ups on the ground or crawling through the bog. Like, of course, yeah, this sucks, but is this really gonna, like, improve you? The Modern Day Night Project isn't even Bedros's only boot camp project. He also has a program called, and I'm serious, Operation Black Sight Mastermind. <laughs> Which is where you can learn to become a human weapon, a human gun, a full gun man. Why are you as a man trying to become a human weapon? Trying to get gripped and held and have your trigger touched and squeezed by another man? You're sick, dude. You're sick. So Operation Black Sight Mastermind, despite its name, is less intense than the Modern Day Night Project. You're becoming a human weapon for only $20,000 a year. But that is just pennies compared to not becoming a human weapon. <laughs> We've assembled the most lethal men and women to transform you into a human weapon, like James Bond and Jason Bourne. Hey, my name is Bedros Koulian, and along with my friend and business partner, Dan Fleischman, we are launching the Operation Black Sight Mastermind, where you get to learn skills and tactics that James Bond, Jason Bourne, and John Wick have. You make all this money, but you're easy to kill. So what's the point of having all that money? There isn't. Imagine what happens when an entrepreneur like you is given the skills of James Bond, John Wick, or even Jason Bourne. And if you combined all those lethal skills with your business savviness, you'd be absolutely unfuckwithable in both business and life. People will see you and automatically think, this person has it all figured out. I'd hate to be on his or her bad side. All right, man, relax. Okay? <laughs> One of the most lethal people alive, Dan Fleischman. Dan's social media agency has spent more on Instagram influencers and celebrity posts than any other company in history, exceeding $60 million. It's easy to just be an alpha. Just spend $60 million on Instagram influencers. I can't believe they're using that to make him sound credible. He spent more on Instagram than anyone else. Yo, this guy spent $60 million on Instagram. No, people People laugh at him. The introductory annual membership rate is $20,000. And as you'll see below, that's pennies compared to the return on investment anyone with even a moderate level of ambition can gain by being part of such an elite and exclusive group 
full of the world's best. You don't understand. Give this guy $20,000 so he can give it to Instagram ads. And your return on investment by being best friends with Bedros Kulian is basically infinite. Who knows, you can maybe open your own fit body boot camp chain one day. I love that, again, they have to immediately justify how much the course costs by saying, it's not even that much. It's not even that much. Just give it to me. You'll make more. It's not that much. That's like how a baby would justify spending money on something. They're not even done. This is like a full paragraph. And that doesn't even include the insane value of the absolutely ridiculous experiences we have lined up that would all literally cost millions of dollars for anyone to orchestrate. And even then, honestly, still couldn't be replicated because of Dan and I's extensive network we've built over the last 20 years. It's so desperate. And it doesn't even include the amazing, ridiculous experiences that we have lined up that no one could ever replicate. And even if they did, it wouldn't be cool. I guess the trick to becoming an alpha mastermind is to just act really desperate and beg people for stuff. I mean, all of these websites are worded like a multi-level marketing scheme probably because they hired a guy that does those. Operation Black Site Mastermind isn't really a physical challenge program in the same way the Modern Day Knights program is. It's more like a membership to Mixer events where you learn combat training from, wait a minute, Chris Weichman, CEO of Bull Solutions Mountaineering School? Oh, he's also a Fit Body Boot Camp franchise owner. Oh man, would you look at that? Another one of the most lethal people alive is Sean Whalen, who wrote the book, How to Make Shit Happen. All these like alpha edgy self-help books are all titled the same. How to get shit done, how to make shit happen, cut the bullshit and do it. Maybe it's just me, but that doesn't help me. That doesn't mean anything to me. Do what? The stuff I have to do? Yeah, I already know. See, the problem with Sean Whalen's book is that he only used one swear word in the title, where Bedros used two. And that's how you become a mastermind, human weapon. Sean Whalen is also the founder of the clothing company Lions Not Sheep. Shop the white collection. Ooh, man, that's good. <laughs> $35 for that. Man, these are some really good clothes. Can you even call yourself a clothing brand if all you do is just use a generic font, type things onto fucking Teespring? Use assembled clip art? I don't even think she's holding the stupid gun. She's not. You can see the torch underneath. That's not even how it- Their queen collection is pretty bad. Look at this. It wrote the logo on the armpit part on the back. Okay. Bedros Kulian is also the founder of the Squire program, a father-son bonding experience camp where they do a lot of the same challenges as the Modern Day Nights program. Minus the 12 Zoom calls. It's only $2,000, which is still too much, but it is a lot shorter than the Modern Day Nights program. The way they treat these kids is insane. And I don't want to show too much because I would also be really embarrassed if my weird dad drug me to his weird friend's multi-level marketing scheme camp and then some bozo made a video making fun of me and my dad i'd hate that dig come on dig faster get your face down low dig beat him just crawl over him who gives a shit come on go harder the mark of a good instructor is when you look at the people they're talking to and it looks like they don't hear them or don't really know how to respond at all come on man they're just in like a ditch in the side of the road. Why would you pay for this? Halfway down. That all the way down, halfway up. Yeah, it really seems like these guys are connecting with these kids and teaching them a lot. I didn't become a multimillionaire by avoiding the details. Fix the details throughout the day, throughout your life. Dude, I can't hear any more of these guys just being like, do stuff. Focus on the details. Follow through. That doesn't mean anything. It's nothing. It's bullshit. You're just saying words because you have to say something because people paid money to be there. If you get this wrong, I'm gonna come by and kick everyone in the fucking ribs. You're gonna have to have your head up so you see who I'm pointing at. Go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two. Oh. You gotta be fucking kidding me. Oh, you guys are gonna get so strong today. So strong. Exactly, you're gonna get either real fucking disciplined and smart or real strong. I have a feeling this group's gonna get real strong. He's wearing mismatched shoes again. Is that his thing? Masculinity is not toxic. Pieces of shit are toxic. Did I not just watch a clip of one of these guys saying they're gonna kick the kids in the ribs for not listening to them? Masculinity is not toxic. 
I can't even tell you how many of my son's friends I meet who don't know how to change a tire, saw a piece of wood, drive manual transmission, open doors for women. They don't know how to do that. Sit in the right spot at a restaurant to keep their head on a swivel. What? Does this guy go into restaurants being like, where do I need to sit to like see the most action? I need to have an extraction plan. I'm not anxious at all. Every day, my son and I work out together at 7 p.m. Okay. The website for the Squire program is just as manipulatively worded as the rest of the programs, but this one has a little extra spice to it. Here's a quote from Frederick Douglass. It's easier to build strong men than to repair broken men. They know this which is why they're doing everything in their power to make boys, quote, lost and broken men before they even have the chance to become a man. Okay, Bedros, who is they? You can raise a young man who, who gains respect from men around him, is a servant leader and protector to others, and has clarity on his path and purpose in life. They don't want this type of man to be around because he's hard to control. What is your son seeing? He's seeing what they want him to see. Now it's our duty to show them how to be better men and leaders, but they don't want that to happen. They want him to seek comfort and merely exist in mediocrity. But you and your son can break it. You can show your son, not he him or they them, what it means to be a man. My son is not a he him or a they them. My son is a she her. I mean, at this point, I just have to accept that I'll never be a modern day knight. I'll never learn how to overcome adversity and I'll never be able to crawl through a bog with a hammer when my family needs them. You know, sometimes there are things you have to accept in this life and I think I'm okay with that. Thank you so much for watching. If you had a good time, please click like or subscribe for more videos just like this every week. Thank you again to Semper for sponsoring this video. Make sure to check out the link in the description for 55% off your first order. You can check out my Patreon, which is only $5 a month, which is pennies compared to what you will lose by not subscribing to the Patreon. Thanks again for watching. I'll have another video out on Friday. Bye. Yeah.